Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a high lumen, low dollar flashlight, the Thrunite TC15. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I've done a whole lot of flashlights lately. Um, most of the ones I've done have been under a thousand lumens or a thousand lumens. This one is 2300 lumens. This is the Thrunite TC15. Runs about $55.99, so while in that price range it is a little higher than um, you know something you consider a budget flashlight, for 2300 lumens, that's a budget flashlight. Very, very good deal for such high lumen output. So what I'm going to do is show you the light today. We're going to test it outside. Let me show you what comes in the box first here. You, of course, get the flashlight, and the first thing you're going to do with this is tighten it up on the bottom and top. It's shipped loose, so it doesn't uh, turn itself on, and... Let's show you the box. Inside the box, you'll have your packing. You'll have your instruction manual. That silica gel, and you'll have a lanyard. Now, again, I told you guys I don't generally use lanyards a lot, but it's nice that they offer it because I know some people love lanyards. You have some extra little O-rings in there. You will get a clip, and we'll put that on later. Pocket clip, and you will get. A case. The case is a nice touch in case you want to put this on something. You know, you want to run this through your belt or you want to put this on a bag, whatever. Very, very handy. It's got a nice little clip up here, too, so you can hang it and dangle it off something. So let's take a look at the light to begin with first here. One of the things I've noticed about this light is it has really nice knurling and it's comfortable in your hand without being too aggressive. It's not obnoxious, you know. It's, it's, it feels really smooth. And you wonder, gosh, is that going to, you know, stay in my hand? Then you grab it, and you're like, yeah, that's fine. That's no problem at all. It does have some nice little cooling cuts up in here, which do work. This does get hot on 2300 lumens, let's be honest. Um, but it will do a thermal drop down after that. So let's take a look at the charging port. There's your charging port back there. There's your button here. Now, the only complaint I've had with any flashlight similar to this with the button here is that I'd like to see some kind of cuts along here, something to let me know I'm coming up on the button. When it's completely dark, you're kind of fumbling around. Where's that button? Where's that? Oh, there it is, you know. So I would like to see that on there. It would be nice to have that. But other than that, really awesome. So let's take a look at the battery in here. It is a... 3100 milliamp hour 18650 cell. It does have the battery level indicator in there. I'll show you that in a second. And so your indicator is on here. You'll notice it's blue. When that is on blue, that means you are at 100% power. When it goes to red, you're going to be about 20% left. And when it goes to flashing red, you're anywhere from 1% to 10% left. And it will do the same. It will, it will glow um, red while it's charging, and then glow that purplish blue when it's finished up here. You do get a cable. I forgot to show you that. Cable was over on the other side of the table. So you will have a charging cable with this. Fairly simple to charge up. And you can always get an adapter if you want to plug it in, or you can plug this into any of your solar generators, your backup battery banks, anything. Let me move everything out of the way, and we'll take a look at the uh, bezel. All right, the bezel uses a smooth reflector, as you can tell in there. The LED is a Cree XHP35, and this produces 2,300 lumens with a beam distance of 807 feet, or 246 meters. Now let's talk run times. Let me turn it on here. Medium, high, and turbo, and of course we'll test this outside in the dark. Let's talk run times for a second. Turbo, 2300 lumens. That will drop to 820 lumens after two minutes. And people kind of are like, oh, well, why does it drop and all that? Well, I look at it like this. If you're driving a car that has a top speed of, say, 150 miles an hour, you don't drive at that speed all the time. Sometimes you need some speed, but you're not going to drive at 150 miles all, all the time. If you need to search for something, you know, you got two minutes to do it, which is pretty darn good. And then it will drop to 820 lumens. So that's really not bad. So high is your 1,050 lumens. That runs for 90 minutes or half an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, what would normally be turbo on some of the flashlights I've looked at. So that's really cool. 
Your medium is 250 lumens, that runs for 6.5 hours. Your low is 25, and that runs for 68 hours. Your Firefly is one lumen. I'll show you how to get to that mode in a second. That's 41.5 days. And your strobe is 830 lumens for 180 minutes. It is IPX8 waterproof, down to 2 meters. Um, a suggestion I always tell people when they have flashlights similar to this with a charging port, make sure your charging port is flush in there and really good. Otherwise, you're going to lose your IPX rating. You know, they're going to get water in there. Make sure you got that in there right when you're doing it. Let me show you, let me show you how to get it to the uh, Firefly mode. If you want just the Firefly mode, what you're going to do is push and hold. And there you go. Now you can see that. It's really not very visible in this bright light in here. Okay, when you're done, you're going to turn that off. Now to get to the modes, you're going to turn it on to, you're going to turn it on to low. Okay. Your medium. Your high. And you're going to push twice for your turbo. Three times for your strobe. So, all in all, very cool flashlight. Um, I am going to be carrying this around for a little bit and try it out. I've been using it in here, um, in my in my room in here, and it's come in handy a bunch of times so far. I've had it for a couple of weeks, and I've been testing it out. I haven't put the clip on yet, but uh, we will pop that on there. And I've been really, really good, comfortable with it. I like the way it works. Definitely a handy little flashlight. There you go. And there's your clip. So you can carry it either way, but I prefer to carry it down like that in my pocket. I just prefer to carry stuff down, knives, tip down, all of it. You know, that's just how I am. So, let's get this outside in the dark, and let's give it a little workout in both my front and backyard. All right, so let's give it a good test out here. This is the Thrunite TC-15. Let's give it a shot here. That's your low. Your medium. Your high. Look how bright that is on my yard there. And there's your turbo. Now we're going to move the camera around so you can see the power of that turbo. That is just insane. Lights up the house across the street, of course. Uh, it's the top of my palm trees up there. You can see my ham radio antenna wire. Definitely impressive. And impressive, too, that it's not getting all that warm, even on turbo. So that's the light. All right, we're doing something a little different. This is my backyard. That's my little fire pit. Low. Medium. There we go. High. And turbo. Look at how bright that is in my backyard. Oh, I've got weeds on the side. Anyway, that's a good test. You can make up my little area over there where I do videos sometimes from. So that was pretty impressive, especially in the backyard. Uh, my backyard is just, you know, there's some ambient light out front. In the back there is nothing. It is just pitch black, so you see that lit up my whole backyard. One of the things I liked about this, and I noticed this while just carrying around, is it's very lightweight. Um, I've tried a lot of these other flashlights that have the 18650 battery in them. They seem to be kind of heavy, bulky, you know. Now, if you want that in a flashlight, if you're looking for, you know, 5,000 lumens, hey, that's what you want. You want a searchlight. For an everyday carry option, something like that, being nice and lightweight, not a bad idea. So it's 4.5 ounces or 71 grams, 4. Point inches long, 4.8 inches long, or 12.25 centimeters. And it's got a serious punch for being so compact. You know, really nice, a nice uh, lumen output. One of the things I did notice, I wanted to mention this previously before we did the test. When I was using this in here, I was outside gardening, and I had my gardening gloves on. And these are big, heavy, bulky. These aren't, you know, comfortable gloves for, say, manipulation of small things. <laughs> And I noticed that it really worked well with the gloves on. I was able to do everything I needed to do with it. It was comfortable in my hand. It didn't feel like it was going to fall out. You know, these I would bring them in, but they're wet out there. We washed them off. Um, they're very comfortable. It's very comfortable and good for gloved hands. So definitely a plus on it. I do like that. And at the price point that you're looking at for 55 56 bucks, can't be beat for that much lumen output. And you saw how bright it was in my front yard. Um, I, I like the fact that it has that throw, but it's not a spotlight. It just lights up an area. It doesn't light up just one area. So for an EDC flashlight, definitely a cool option. So that is the Thrunite TC-15. You got 2,300 lumens on your high mode, your, uh, your turbo mode. Your high mode is 1,050. 
Your medium is 250, low is 25, and you got a one lumen firefly that will last for 41 days. So I thank you guys for watching. I will put a link down below where you can pick this up. It'll also be in my Amazon store. Don't forget to check out my Amazon affiliate store down there. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. If you're interested in getting started in freeze-dried food and storage, we have a whole range of stuff to offer you. Stuff's getting back into stock. So you'll have everything you can find down there. And don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link down below. That's preparewithiridium.com. You can check that out as well. If you want to get started on some freeze-dried food and food storage, which I would suggest right now, you can check those links out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.